What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney if you're new here. It is currently the month of October which I'm super excited because if you don't know what that means I'm gonna be filming a ton of scary videos for this month since it is Halloween month. I do have a lot of videos planned and I'm praying that I can film all those for you guys because I know most of you subscribed have found me through my scary videos. Today I'm doing a story time of something that happened a couple days ago and this experience is nothing compared to experiences I've had in the past. Like this is very small like if I could rate it 1 out of 10 how scary I thought it was. It's probably like a five or six, but on Snapchat a lot of you still wanted me to film this video and it is still really creepy. It would mean the world to me if you guys could go follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat if you want to see updates. Usually when like stuff like this happens I go straight to Snapchat so go ahead and add me if you don't want to miss out on that. Let's just get started into this spooky story time. That's not even that scary. So about a week ago something happened and there's like things that happened that led up to this moment and then after that other like little things happened. The first thing that happened that led up to this scary moment in the morning at 9 20 a.m. I got a really strange phone call from a number in New York City and the area code is 212 so let me know if that's the area code for New York. This number called me twice and when they called me I was actually washing my car and I normally don't answer like unknown numbers that aren't in my contacts because I don't know if I'm the only one, but I get scared answering phone calls that aren't saved into my contacts. That's just how I am. Like, I get freaked out. So I was washing my car, and then this phone number started calling me. Right when I was about to answer, it already rung for too long, and it hung up. So I didn't get to answer it, and I didn't want to call them back. So then I go back to washing my car, and then they start calling again. But this time, I miss their second call. And I go on my phone, and I see that they left a voicemail. And I'm like, okay, this person is obviously calling me for a reason if they called me twice and then left a voicemail. When I listened to this voicemail, I got so freaked out because first of all, how does this phone number have my number? It's in a different language, so they're speaking some Asian language. I want to say either Chinese or Japanese, I don't really know. Even my own phone cannot translate what this robot thing is saying. I got chills when I started listening to it and I'm gonna play it for you guys right now but I don't know how to translate this and I was gonna go on Google Translate but I don't know how you would do that. So if any of you know what this thing is saying please let me know because I'm freaked out. So that's the voicemail and I'm still freaked out to this day. I have no idea what they're saying. I have an iPhone and on my voicemail it says it's unable to transcript this message, which is weird because if it's in a different language, iPhones are pretty like good with that. But I guess on voicemail, they I don't even know because I've never had this experience happen to me. This isn't really that big of a deal because it does just sound like a robot speaking, but the fact that they call me twice and then left a voicemail and how did they even get my number in the first place, that just is really creepy to me. Some of you probably are thinking that's not even a big deal, but that has never happened to me before ever. If any of you can translate what they're saying, please let me know because I am super curious. So moving on to like three or five hours later, I was just chilling at home and I started cleaning my bathroom. Then I started getting ready because I was going to my friend's house later. I left the cleaning spray that I used to clean my bathroom on my counter so I went to go out in my kitchen to put it back under the sink where it belongs. And as I was walking out, I look into my sister's room which once you walk out to where I was standing in the kitchen I have a visible view of part of my sister's room right when I get to the kitchen counter and as I'm looking into my older sister's room I see my younger sister Jessica barely like I saw her for a second and then she kind of like went past the wall and I thought she was in there looking through Nicole's closet because we all know our older siblings hate when we go through their stuff. So I was thinking why is Jessica going into Nicole's room? So I saw Jessica go into her room and it's not that I saw like literally saw Jessica like her face. I saw and it's so hard to explain like I don't really know how to explain this part but I saw like the corner of her body and she was wearing um jessica was wearing a navy blue sweatshirt so i figured who i saw was jessica walking to nicole's room because it was just me and jessica that were home so like who else would it be in her room so when i walked out of the kitchen and the second i looked into nicole's room i just saw like this part of jessica's body walked past until she wasn't visible anymore like what i saw she was walking towards nicole's closet so i just saw her for a split second and it was just like her shoulder area so as i walked to nicole's room the door starts closing and this isn't anything out of the ordinary usually when you walk past Nicole's room it 
the door like slightly closes sometimes. Okay, I just had to stop filming for a couple hours, so I'm sorry if the lighting changed, but let's just get back to what I was talking about. As I'm walking to Nicole's room to see what Jessica's doing, the door starts to close, which like I said is not that out of the ordinary. And not thinking anything of it, the whole time I thought Jessica was in her room. I also start to hear as if someone was moving something because I really thought Jessica was in her room, so automatically my brain just thought I was hearing something when I really wasn't. I don't know. I'm walking in her room and getting closer and closer to her closet around the corner. I'm expecting to see Jessica pop out and I get to her closet and Jessica isn't even in her room. I got goosebumps immediately. Jessica isn't even in my older sister's room. If it wasn't Jessica, then who did I see in her room? Because I saw something or someone. One thing, Jessica's room is across from Nicole's. So Jessica's in her room when this happened and she's FaceTiming her boyfriend, Ethan. I walk into Jessica's room and I immediately ask her, were you just in Nicole's room? Because I just saw something in here and I thought it was you. So I walked in and I thought you were in Nicole's closet because I started hearing stuff too. So I figured you're going through Nicole's closet. So I went in there to look what you were doing and you weren't even in there. Jessica's eyes got big and she was like, what are you even talking about? I was in here the whole time. But here's the strange thing about this. Apparently Jessica was in Nicole's room, but this was before I walked out of the kitchen and saw something else in Nicole's room. By that time, Jessica was already in her room when I walked out of the kitchen. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm really trying hard to explain this. What Jessica was basically trying to tell me is she saw me in my hallway, like in the closet, cause I did like look in the closet, I'm pretty sure before like I completely walked out into the living space. I didn't even see her walk back to her room when I walked out into the kitchen area. It looked like someone had just walked into Nicole's room, not walking out of Nicole's room. So even if it was Jessica, I did not see her leave the room. I saw someone walk into her room towards her closet area. Although now it does make sense for the door to close if Jessica was walking out, but it's almost like as Jessica was walking out, something walked into her room and that's what I saw. It's just so bizarre. I don't even know what I saw. I want to believe what I saw was a black shadow because that's exactly what it looked like. And I don't know how I don't know how else to explain what I saw, but I saw a figure, I saw something move, and it wasn't transparent or anything. You guys can be the judge of it. I don't really know how else to explain it or what else to say about that. Of course, after that happened, I went ahead and texted Nicole saying, I just saw something weird in your room. And she didn't believe me. And Nicole believes in ghosts, like she's had experiences with in her room and they're really creepy. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned them in a video before in the past. I definitely mentioned the time where she saw a black shadow in her doorway when she was sleeping. I guess she was having sleep paralysis and she saw a black figure walking towards her and she said that was one of the most scariest situations in her life. So the last thing that happened after this situation that I thought was kind of weird. Next morning after this, I told Nicole that I'm making a story time video about this. We just started talking and then she randomly just said, Last night I was sleeping and my lights that are taped on the wall just randomly fell to the ground. What? Obviously it's not that weird that they fell if they're taped to the wall. Tape doesn't last forever so it's just ironic how I just saw something in her room earlier that day and then that night something else happened and her lights have never fallen on the ground before. So it's just weird how that same day of course the lights decided to fall the day I saw the black shadow or whatever you want to call it and that's basically all that happened i'm just gonna let you guys be the judge of the story you don't have to believe me or not but this is just my experience and i would never lie just to share a story on youtube and get views on it like that's just so stupid but you guys really wanted to see the story so i thought i would share so i hope that you enjoyed watching and let me know um your experiences if you have any ghost stories i would love to hear them this is not the first situation where i thought i saw a black shadow it has happened a couple times before so i don't know just the whole paranormal world is so interesting to me and we don't know much about it like I don't even know if it's real but the experiences that a lot of people have in me it makes me want to believe it's real but for some reason like the spirits or whatever you want to call that world they don't really want us to know much about it I love you guys so much and I really hope you enjoyed watching my first scary video of October and I guess I'll just see you in my next video bye